get what I'm talking about? Every book, every movie, every advertisement has an aim. It's actually selling a culture. Come on, put your hands together. So we gather in church. We just are saying that we're going to go to heaven. But you're going to send your children to... So you're confused. And if that is going to change, then somebody among us must be able to enter into both formal and informal education. Somebody must enter media. Somebody must enter in entertainment. So when you see somebody like Zeno with high, am I, am I talking here? We have to support because he's a gladiator in that field. Am I talking in house of refuge? Actually, am I talking in house of refuge? I say, am I talking in house of refuge? So it's a message, you know, it teaches, you know, it, you know, it messages, you know, teaches us what is normal and what is important. Now, if the education is polluted, then a generation is going to rise that thinks it's normal to have sex. It's normal to defend yourself aggressively. It's normal to use violence to answer any altercation in your life. So, Yarong is saying, I never got you one now, boom. So, Yarong, Kabashi, who she calls, see, Father, wow, wow. Where did he learn it? It's not a, only just a spirit that entered him, somebody has trained him. Hallelujah. So, and how do you learn? You, you hear it through music. Go to the black community in the U.S. Why is it like that? Of course, there's a hip hop culture. That's why Christians are also com coming, the people like the Lacrae, coming in to begin to possess that place. Because already most of the training of the black community is through the hip hop culture, and all the training is toxic. All right, you know, is this Snoop or, or who that stood, you know, put a mannequin of, uh, of Donald Trump and shot him with a gun on the street? That's a culture. Are you getting what I'm talking about? All right. So, so when you look at that, all of that darkness is organized, but it is operating inside of an arena. It's operating, which means unless God finds a gladiator with enough courage and character to enter the realm of the earth, the entertainment, the media, and when you're dealing with formal education, unless we have believers, that's why I'm excited, Mologo is in, um, you know, Pastor Nancy is in, Javan is trying to come in already as a house of refuge. Remember, the arms of house of refuge is going after this spirit. We're intentional. We're not just doing, doing church. That's any ministry that tells me, ah, we're here to evangelize. I said, I go back to God and hear God again. Because that's actually not a vision. Because every child of God, you're supposed to go into the whole world and make disciples of all nations. Cannot be a vision of a church. When you have a church, okay, in as much as you disciple, it has to be the, the throne of God. Later I'm going to show you the throne of God has four faces. That's why he talks about the four corners of the world. All right, okay. The, the expression of Jesus has four faces. That's why Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm going to teach you. All right. And so if God is going to operate here on earth, he cannot be less than who he is. So you cannot save a place if you are not involved in the politics, in the business, in the education. And am I talking the house of refuge? So you're just, oh, I want to save souls. No, that's not, that's not, that's not dominion. You have to have an understanding. All right. In those days we did that and we lost everything. How is it that we just wake up and all of those are in the hands of people? Now we're struggling. They have already taken the high place. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So if we don't have people there, listen to me, the battle hasn't even begun. We are simply standing in the stand and just cheering and shouting. Why? We don't have, we need gladiators. So it is time to begin to move beyond just 
getting together in church and shouting and pointing, doing all night, which is not good. And we're hoping that something will change. Nothing will change until you enter the arena. It is in the arena that you take your feet and conquer. That's when change begins to happen. Am I talking hard? Yeah. Nothing will change. That's why I'm excited. Okay, of course we have, you know, there's doctor here. There's, a, you know, you know, you know. So I told you, why did you leave the, you know, you see, you know, you know, you know, for 20 years I'm in, in, you know, in the education. All right. Now I'm coming out. I'm training gladiators. Of course, I'm also still in, in, you know, in that business. Of course, you know, I'm into real estate. Put your hand on your head and say, Lord make me a gladiator so so everybody that is here that is a teacher that is in the school system whether formal you know that which is formal education you are a gladiator you are inside that arena that's why when we come here on friday we don't just pray ab abruptly no now we have understanding we have gladiators in that arena that are facing powers now forget don't, i will tell you I will tell you, when you're coming in, where entry, access, you don't meet the power. The power is in high place. That's why by the time I saw a principal, I'm getting all hell breaking loose. Meanwhile, the ES, they make sure that it's in their hand. You understand what I'm talking about? They are extremely strategic. Every, because you can't take a city and a government if you don't take those installations. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. First lady was telling me, for my years, you know, her sister, you know, his sister was giving prefer preferential treatment. I don't know what I, is a principal? Yeah? She's a principal. How? Meanwhile, they enter together. And then, a, you know, a, a lush place, a good place will be chosen. Why? Because the person in the high place in, that's the ES. We, while we were praying, somebody took it. You know, Nafara Maganaka is a, it's a dicey place to begin to talk. It's very, very, very dicey. You speak in tongues, you're doing that, you, we lost. But God is sending people. So when you meet teachers, every one of us that is a teacher in school system, whether, you know, for, you, know you are a gladiator. In universities, you are a gladiator. A gladiator. All right. You can go into a university and then if you're in arts or entertainment, if you're in media, you're in sport, you're a gladiator. You are inside the arena. Now look at it. Our church people, because, because they don't know that face. So they enter, but now they have to bow down to that face. So they left church. Whether it's in U.S. or Nigeria, left church. Am I finished from Baptist High? He's a believer. The church boy. He's playing the keyboard in the school. But you see, when you want to go and break, that's where the devil himself appears to you. And anything that you bow down to going up, you can never rule in that place. Am I talking in the house of refuge? So if you're in, okay, okay. Again, social icons too, you know, you know, you know. So you become a celebrity. Listen to me. You have a pastor. Okay, pastor. Pastor, ba? Okay. Maybe you can put a page now, pastor. You open a page. Now they follow us. And you see one useless celebrity with 30 million followers. 20 million followers. She will just wake up in the morning and snap her food. And you see two million likes. She will do one stupid thing, and you see five million views. You're not here what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together. You have to rise up to that statue where you have that great influence. So now when you wake up, you're not doing one stupid thing, you're releasing kingdom principle. Second, I got two million followers. <laughs> Am 
am I talking has a refuge? I said, am I talking has a refuge? You see, some dumb, just go and snap, they would do some dumb, stupid thing. And then when you lose, see, five million, it's not a long one, why won't you? How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Now, there's something that is driving that. Because it's a culture that, you know, the enemy and us, which is toxic and poisonous. So there's a force there. And until we go in, in there and slay and put our feet on the neck and take over that place, you'll be losing your children. So you have now children in church, but their leaders are devil worshippers. You're not their role model. Something is teaching them culture. The parents are confused. Somebody somewhere. But that devil is coming down. I said that devil is coming down. I said that devil is coming down. God is raising people to invade the marketplace. And he's sending them as undercover agent. Go into film, art and entertainment. Go into, am I talking in house of refuge? We're going to the top, but we're not bowing down to no spirit. And we know that, am I talking here? The rulers of the darkness of this world is getting ready to bow down to our God. And not only are we sending them in the arena, we're not going to criticize them, but we're going to pray for them. Because we know that they are the ones that are fighting. They're fighting for the resources. Fighting for their name to be pressed down. Am I talking here? You know, they're looking for producers. And the pro am I talking Last year, last year, you know, you know, uh, Harvey Weinstein, Harvey, he's, a, he's a film producer, you know, he's a film producer, and all of the allegations, and you see, so you see, Christian girls going to Hollywood, and then they are losing it. Recently, some conservative actors are coming out. There are Christians that can't talk in because once you talk, you 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 know you know you know you know, you know cancel culture. They will finish you. And so this guy was saying, this guy, before he gives you a good role in the movie, or he allows you to blow, there are kind of derogatory sex acts you have to do with him. And if mammon is your God, you will bow down to that because you want to blow. But God is raising gladiators. Am I talking in house of refuge? I said God is raising gladiators. And the film industry is controlling the culture of our children. Everywhere. My wife said that she was going to be a best day and she was going to be a best day. So I said, I'm going to be a co-christian music. Ha ha ha. Am I, am I talking in house? Say they are academic, you know, you know, you know. But we need them to begin to copy Zeno when he hears voices in the spirit and bring sound from the throne so that when you're doing his move, you're casting devils. Come on, am I talking in house of refuge? Come on, put your hands together if you understand. The kingdom of this world is about to become the kingdom of our God. We are not going back and shy in. We're going into art and entertainment, advertisement. We're becoming social icons. We're not staying in the corner. We're rising to take over. Come on, we're opening schools, we're going in as gladiators, we're slaying that demon down, we're changing the narrative and taking over the culture. My talking has a refuge, raising leaders by our Sunagama secondary school, Sunarena Babon Susas is Zagi Koa. No, we're raising schools where they understand respect. They understand honor. They understand, I'm talking here. And then we're raising people who in the neighborhood, kind of releasing culture, not the tea, but they organize. I'm talking here. Come on, put those hands together. Shout! Take charge of your street. Take charge of your neighborhood. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. We're not just meant for praise the Lord, hallelujah. We're meant for the marketplace. We're meant for the economic region. We're about to take the business. We're supposed to have the because the kingdom of God will be enlarged through prosperity. 
and we will shape the culture. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. God is raising people to invade that. And sometimes they are going in undercover. I kept mentioning Esther went in undercover because she understood the covered agency of the kingdom of God. She could have been killed, taken out in the act of the contest. And say, what's your name? My name is Esther Shalom. Mark Vatfer. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't need Jews there. <laughs> That's why some of you do an entrance and a kashiku because you don't understand the covered agency of the kingdom of God. Most of you, the whole place is already taken. My God will protect me. Anyhow. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Back at the cloud aruhu. Gigi yanka be tauri aruhu baka. Jika na lama krapadaba. Zia bugi ka pow. So. I'm not okay. You are zealous for God. It's okay. But God may be in the process of covert operation. So Esther, that's why she needed a prep coach. How Mordecai told her, don't tell anybody you're a Jew. You're a believer. You're a believer. Now he's so confident that she can go there and never change. Why? Because of the culture he already instilled in her in church, in his house. Why are we losing our people when they go into politics? They don't have prep coaches. So she went. She didn't say anything. She didn't say, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. My God is with me. My God will take me. <laughs> shalom, Shalom. Bam! Seta Zama covertly. She became a queen and they don't even know that she is a Jew. Because that's how God works. And she did not bow down to nothing until the war and there is a strategic position now every parable of Jesus involves something hidden before it is revealed and I'm not saying that you should go and, and then no you see, you, see, you see when I go into where I walk I don't have to hold the Bible but when you see my light you know what I subscribe to that's why he said, let your light. Are you getting what I'm talking about? And you are there to intercept the work of the devil. And somebody, when they see your light, they will be drawn to you. So when they draw to you, that's when you introduce them to your God. Am I talking in house of refuge? I said, am I talking in house of refuge? Or you begin to, you begin to influence the students. Well, I was in AUN, I can't tell you the number of students I influenced. There was a time a boss... Most of these Rwandans, a boss, a UN boss, brings students here. They were all my students. While I was, I, I entered, you know, you know, you know, footy. Then I was in, in, in you know, in live stream. My students, you know, they just see something, and they are drawn. Am I talking in house of refuge? Nete, am I talking in house of refuge? Nete, but am I talking in house of refuge? The book of Esther is actually a covered kingdom operations book. All right. And she, after 10 minutes, she went there intercepting the plan of the enemy. Now, look at me. There's a reason why God is taking you into politics. There's a reason why God is taking you into commerce and economics. There's a reason why God is taking you into the arena of education, both formal. There's a reason. Now, foolish people don't know the reason. The reason is not for you. And put your hands together. The reason is not for you. The problem that we are having is that we don't know why. The reason is not for you. It's the kingdom. It's to reclaim the kingdom. There's a reason. 
So you cannot go into policies. That's why I look at in a very stupid way of, you know, how can you, because you are, then somebody is kneeling down. That's not God. Any operation that will make a, somebody to kneel down is demonic. It reduces the creation of God to something different. Well, I know we have honor and things like that, but I'm not kneeling down because I need favor. Are you getting what I'm talking about? And then when you go into politics, whether you win house of assembly, whether you, you know, you know, you know, now the reason when you go in and you don't know the reason, that's when your hands begins to go under the skirts of our girls. And now you begin to talk even to your pastor anyhow. And now you leave church and now you look down on people because you don't know why you are there. And Mordecai said that don't you ever think that if you don't service the reason that God took you there that you will be disappeared. You and your household will be dead. And God is going to raise somebody that will be a gladiator in that place and take over. Am I talking in house of refuge? I say, am I talking in house of refuge? I say, am I talking in house of refuge? The last one is a spiritual wickedness. So, you know, just by it putting spiritual, so, you know, just that is because it's dealing with religion, it's dealing with philosophy, it's dealing with ideology. God is going to make you rich. It's not for, because of you. Fools don't know that. So, you know, spiritual wickedness, spiritual. Why is it spiritual? You know, you know, spiritual, okay. You know, because it deals with religion, philosophy, and ideology. Philosophy, religion, ideology are in the arena where spiritual wickedness operates. That's where they operate. So, spiritual wickedness refers to the religious identity of a region doesn't matter which religion there is a spirit that has a face there and the aim of that spirit is not to allow the kingdom of God to rise up so when it takes over Munje Muge the circuit now you know Munje cause that oppression cause that oppressing Naka can I shiga cause that guy in Haka can come by me Haka they will oppress you because there is a spirit and it wants to make that religion and ideology everywhere. So every parastatal everywhere. And a gathering, and a gathering, and a gathering, and a gathering, you can't. It's a spiritual wickedness. That controls the texture of the ideology and the religion of the region. We're not an Islamic state. We're not even an Islamic nation. So is a spirit that is controlling something. Why are you writing Arabic? I don't read Arabic. That demon is coming down. Am I talking in house of refuge? I was looking, one guy, big guy, you know, I can't be mentioned. You know. So, I did a week, and then, you know, and then the rules, they should get a dua, a wooden aduanza. You see, now, I guess when Susan does on a chikihaka, now he knows who he's going to deal with and operate with. Can you don't subscribe to that God? I, because Baraka Shigaba, are you getting what I'm talking about? I say, are you, are you, are you, do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, now. Having said all of this, and what that means is that the church is not engaging in any spiritual warfare, listen to me, unless it has gladiators warriors inside listen to me the high places of politics business
culture and religion. If we don't have nobody there, we are not, so we are just shouting naked away. We are not in it. You can't wrestle outside of the arena. You must be in it in order to win it. For us to take over the politics, we must be in it. So when it, when it comes to wrestling principalities, we can't do it unless someone enters the political arena. When it comes to wrestling powers, we can't do it unless somebody enters inside the business and financial arena. When it comes to wrestling the rulers of the darkness of this world, we can't defeat that unless we are believers who are in high places in the arts, in the entertainment, in the academia, in the education, and in the media. When we don't have them there, we are not doing any warfare. You are here, you are a teacher. You are not just going to be a teacher. You are going to be a principal. As a principal, because it's what shifts things is the head. It's the head that shifts things. You're not stopping at principal, you're going for the ES. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I said, are you getting what I'm talking about? Unless we have people inside the cultural streams, we don't have any gladiators in the arena, and there's no battle taking place the right time to clap. This teaching is to provoke you. Remember, the title is to invade. Have to be angry. And you have to go in with a purpose. It's not just for your well-being. Look at, you have to have sparrow faith. So you're going there, you are, we, you, know, you know, it's infiltration. So we are deployed. We are going there as on assignment to bring down that face. Now, all wrestling <laughs> takes place in an arena. So, based on this, listen to me, we wrestle against, against principalities, against powers, spiritual, the rulers of the darkness of the earth, spiritual wickedness. Now, all of those spirits, you meet them in a place. The arena is called high places. If you're writing, I want you to write high places. High place is actually a very key biblical term for a very good student of the Bible. So God begins to get angry, you know, in your high place is like the Baal and things like that. You know, he, if you read the Old Testament, he talks about high places, but the, those ones are, you know, you know, stiff with paganism. Now, the pagans or the heathens, they love the high places. That's why we see when the Romans, even the idea of building, of course, I did a teaching in those days, uh, living in the combat zone. I don't know whether you remember, talk about palastra, you know, and things like that. I did a teaching, you know, and things like that. Now, the pagans, what they do is that they love the high places. They love the high place. Now, what they try to do is that they erect images or icons of their god or goddesses and build altars for their god inside high mountains of the towns high play, high mountains of the town it's called high place what is the so that anytime you're you're walking you look up you're seeing the god the hidden gods okay now the idea is not just you seeing that so when Paul said that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality powers, you know, spiritual weakness in high places, they understand what he's talking about. The reason why we don't understand that scripture is because we are using our mind and we're thinking high place is summer. They know, they know what high places is and they know the impact or the, the reason why. So when he said that it conjures up the image, you know, of their senior level or senior in rank or highest in rank so the highest of the okay so when you look at the high place they take their gods and they say that this 
is everything below it is under our feet. And he's talking about highest in rank, senior level. Am I talking here? So he said that this God that is of is above your God. Is the highest in rank, it's a position. High place. Somebody say high place. The high place for me and you today represent, listen to me, senior levels within the marketplace. Let me say it again. The high place represent, you see, the reason why we don't understand and the other religion understand, so when they come into any organization, they go for that. And then when they become governor or president, they make sure we're all fighting Buhari. Look at the people that he has placed in high places. Do you understand what I'm talking about? They understand that. Head of education. Head of, am I talking here? They understand that. So the high place is talking about senior levels. So when you pick up any industry, any institution, two things you're going to find. There is an entry level and then there is the high place. There is always an entry level. And if you want to find principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness at work, you will never meet them at entry level. You will only meet them at the high place, at the top. The highest rank at the top. At the top. That's why even when they are making their appointment, they choose this. They do it intentionally. And you struggle, you become sick. You will never meet spiritual wickedness at the gate of any city. Because the you know, two most powerful in any city, there is a, there is a gate, then there is a the palace. I'm, I'm going to help you. You're going to meet it in the place or in the palace of the city. The palace, I would define, I define Nassim Bokugani, but I defined two weeks ago. There's a palace of a city talking about high place. You will never meet principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness at the gate. So they will not gather or some Aiki a politics, but they will never allow you to get to the palace. And then they will use us against each other fighting. Am I talking house of refuge? But the high place. But APC and PDP, the chairman, is held by somebody different. The only time is when my dad came. You will never meet principalities, powers, darkness. At the gate of a city, you're going to meet them in the palace of the city. Because it's in the palace that situations are decided. And, and then they will allow us to keep fighting. When Elder was in the government house working, it was his uncle that was used to chase him out of the government house. Kobe's. I get what I'm talking about. His uncle, when Elder finished secondary school, went to Lagos, went to his house. His uncle. So, they can allow us, we can do that fighting, and again, you're a threat if you can bow down. Because that spirit, you will never meet that spirit until when you are trying to go up. That's when you will see the devil himself. Am I talking here? I say, am I talking here? So what does the gate give you? The gate gives you access. But the palace gives you control. In fact, even the access already crisis already spy is taken admissions and arabawa amongst you understand what i'm talking about yes and so now we take all the institution in adamawa state with the exception of the one in mubi take this city legal studies is it a believer that is heading FCE, spy, footy. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes. And you think it's not intentional? Why? Because they understand something that we don't understand. 
And I'm not trying to preach something like, I'm actually trying to give you the mind of God. Am I helping somebody here? Come on, look at your neighbor and say, you need to be a gladiator. So when you enter into an industry, what you do is that you have gone into the gate. And at the lowest level at the gate, you are not going to experience any demonic that is in that sector. Start rising up. Capital lecturer, one lecturer, two kind of them, kind of PhD, scaffold as a threat. You understand what I'm talking about? And get kind of the target of Bayanka. Abunda Kayi, the Kaya Kanga, the unmagnified Nash and a South Korea. Because you're rising up. You're rising up. Futi, vice, VP academies is always for Christians. And VP Academy can never sit in for the VC of the school. You understand what I'm talking about? Yes. It's VP admin. And then if you take VP admin, I mean, I mean DVC. Not to, not to invite president, president. If you take DVC admin and if he sits in as acting, it adds a point to him. So you have a DVC academic that has never acted, it doesn't have a point. You have a DVC admin who is on the other religion and then acted, he has a point. So now they come in. That's why a sudden promotion and a vacancy by God must be created. You're hearing what I'm talking about. Because it's not by your own this thing. Soon as strategizing only am I, am I, so when they come and our papers, can I and say Afara one non point? He has acted. One non yes. May I saw one as my VC for God's sake. Many I feel the alone queer the can erase in Naka Kazoka Zona Kazona Akaina. Because the palace creates control. And now, my degree, law, medicine, they check your name. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So, am I talking here? Okay, why? Because you see, Yes, there is entry. So when you enter, you just fight with direct pressure. Anna Bluma Kanka. Same thing. That is Shiga Koyerwa Secondary School. I tell you, and that is not the farmer the Bluma. Anna to Bluma. Yeah, we are going to Bluma. Bluma Kira. Abuna Kafara rising. Devil himself they appear. Maka. That's when you start meeting hell. Understand what I'm talking about? Why? Because the fight is in the high places. Is the high places. The king and those in high positions are the controllers of the movement of the culture of a place. My time is up. Are you enjoying church today? So when you're going there, you must be sick thinking about chicken car, the chicken yaranka. You must be confused. You must be able to be aware of the situation that we are in. And you must know the agenda of God that there is sudden promotion of the place of significance, influence, and leadership in order to intercept something. Am I talking here? And for your information? Because all the strategy on their part, vacancies. It's about to be created. I say vacancies. I say vacancies intentionally. Vacancies are about to be created. I say vacancies even as I speak. Vacancies is being created in the name of Jesus. Vacancies everywhere. Vacancies everywhere. Yes. Enter. Entry point. Enter. Enter. In your business, when you enter into that business, don't be thinking small. You enter into today. Don't be thinking small. You are more than pension. God is your pension. You need to get there. We need to have control. Come on, put your hands together. Look at the birds. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. 
I pray God baptize you into his agenda. I pray the, the mind and the burden of God rest on you in the name of Jesus. I speak sudden promotion over your life in the name of Jesus. Place of influence in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. agitated for please dominance please put those hands together and celebrate God for the world that came with power thank you so much pastor for the eye opener may God continue to refill you in Jesus name listening to the following updates shop for free 2021 it's just 30 days away Shop for free holes in the month of November and donation is still ongoing. If you cannot bring your donation to the church, it's still okay. We can come and meet you in your house to collect those items. Keep those clothes, those food items, the electronics, the furniture, even the cash money. We'll come to your house and collect them. Pastor is active on social media platforms. We are encouraged to follow, like, and share as we harate the gospel on social media. On Facebook is Pastor Biasa Abraham. On Instagram is Biasa Abraham. On Twitter is at Talk to Biasa. Moment of encounter calls up this Friday by 5 p.m. We are all urged to come as we plant the heavens. Wedding bells, wedding bells, wedding bells. Our admin pastor, Pastor Jason Nelson, will be getting weathered with pastors and with Miss Sarah Timothy on Sunday, the 30th of October, by 10 a.m. This is our wedding. We are all urged to be seated by 9 o'clock while other guests join us within that time frame. End of month Thanksgiving comes up this Sunday, the 31st of October 2021. Get prepared to return glory to God. If you are paying your tithe, you kindly walk to the front. If you are paying your tithe this evening, Bible says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that I will meet in my house. Prove me and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings that there, there won't be room enough to receive. Leave those tithes towards heaven and begin to appreciate God. Father, we receive this tithe that are lifted up unto you with thanksgiving. We thank you for the titles who have come forward willingly, obediently, to return a tenth of that which you have entrusted in their custody. Father, has they returned that which belongs to you? Multiply the remaining in the name of Jesus. Father, fortify them and satisfy them with long life in Jesus' name. Endow them with the solution, bedeviling the spares of influence. And continue to give them the tenacity to continue to pursue, to overtake, and to recover all in Jesus' name. You may cast your tight. Can the rest of us be upstanding with our seat lifted to a seven? As you make this declaration with me, I am a tighter and a giver, and I am blessed beyond measure. I have more than enough. And I'm living in my overflow. I am a sponsor of the kingdom. 
and I'm living in Ephesians 3.20 for the rest of my life. If that is your reality, put those hands together. Are we ready? Are we ready? In the name of Jesus, I am the righteousness of God. Therefore, I'm entitled to covenant kindness and favor. The favor of God is among the righteous. His favor surrounds the righteous. Therefore, it surrounds me. I expect the favor of God to be in manifestation everywhere I go and in everything I do. Never again will I be without the favor of God. Satan, my days in Lodibar are over. I have left the place of lack and want. I have moved to the pits from the pit to the palace because the favor of God rests richly on me and profusely abounds in me. I'm a part of the generation that is experiencing the immeasurable, limitless, and unsurpassed favor of God. And this is producing in my life supernatural increase, promotion, prominence, preferential treatment, restoration, honor, increased assets, great victories, recognitions, petitions granted, policies and rules change on my behalf, battles won that I don't have to fight. The favor of God is upon me. It goes before me. And therefore, my life will never be the same again. If your life will never be the same, why don't you put those hands together and shout! And what is our mission? To bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Creating a place of safety for the madness in the world. Making them to become useful to themselves. And the society in order to magnify God's name. Magnify God's name. Magnify His holy name. I declare that a new season has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that in this new season, there's instant advancement in the spirit for you. Instant restoration. Instant turnaround in your bank account in the name of Jesus. I declare this stolen will be restored in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that ups and downs must end in your life. And I release you to pursue, to overtake, and to recover all in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the anointing is destroying every sickness in your body in the name of Jesus. I see your yoke of setback broken right now and all shackles of the enemy shattered by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. In this year 2021, you will increase in good, increase in wealth, increase in influence in the name of Jesus. I speak career acceleration and business breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command all demonic negotiation happening in the spirit against you and your family. Broken now in the name of Jesus. I release angelic activities all around you in Jesus name. Go and prosper in Jesus name. Lock hands with your neighbor as to share the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Surely. Forever and ever. Amen. Shabbat. Oh, oh, oh. 